to the final installment of the Paramount Story Wrangler Summer Writing Roundup Summer 2021 Edition. Thank you so much for watching these videos, for writing these stories, for liking and subscribing to our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. The Summer Writing Roundup was designed to bring your stories to life, so obviously we couldn't do any of this without you. Now, I think I speak for everyone when I say that this summer turned out a little differently than we were planning. But the one thing that remained constant that I am eternally grateful for is that every week you submitted stories to the Summer Writing Roundup, and I cannot tell you how much joy that brought me over the past few weeks. Now, before we share our final performance video of the summer, let's talk about the prompt. Your prompt was to write about a character following their dreams. Some of you wrote about characters chasing lifelong dreams. Some of you wrote about characters chasing dreams that they actually had in their sleep last night. Some of you even wrote about characters with the name dream. No matter what you wrote about, thank you for submitting your story. Now let's check out this week's lucky chosen video. This story was written by Satori, and it's called Not Rejected Anymore. Once upon a time, on a hot day in July, on the streets of a neighborhood in Arizona, Cotton and Candy were looking at the highway, hoping that someone would pull over and find them. They were twin King Charles Cocker Spaniels that were reddish brown that kept themselves clean, even though they didn't have a home. They wanted to be adopted by the same family so they would have food and love and no one rejecting them. Their mom got adopted a few years ago, but the family who adopted her couldn't have all three of them, so they've been alone ever since. But all the neighbors already have dogs. They wanted to leave their neighborhood. On the other side of the street is the pound with the animal catchers, so they can't go to another neighborhood or they might get caught. Candy is very hard, like actual candy. And cotton is very soft. So Candy wants to cross the road into a new neighborhood, but cotton is scared. Candy convinced Cotton by saying that on the other side, they would have freedom. Cotton goes with Candy, but the animal catcher spotted them. They were captured and taken to the pound. Cotton was furious at Candy, and they kept barking at each other. After a few hours of barking back and forth, a family called the Sugarsons came in and saw them. They wanted to adopt Cotton and Candy. The family also had twin siblings that fought just like Cotton and Candy did. They thought it would be nice to have dogs that matched their kids' personalities. And ever since that day, they went home with the Sugarsons. Cotton learned to take the lead more, and Candy became a little more soft-hearted. Twin dogs and the twin children both became better because they had each other. When you have each other, there's nothing you can do. Sugar sins are family in Arizona. When you have each other, there's nothing you can do. Become soft hearted and make your way. What an incredible story, and what an awesome video made by our story wrangler, Catherine Lounsbury. Thank you, Catherine. Now, because this is our last video of the summer, I don't have another prompt or theme to give you. So instead, I'm gonna tell you about the story wranglers. The Paramount Story Wranglers are a troupe of professional actors, teaching artists, and musicians that teach creative writing to elementary schoolers all over the Austin area. 
Through seven weeks of creative writing through different fonts and themes, we teach students the foundations of writing. We then select all of the stories from all of the different classrooms that are written and choose what we think is each student's best work. Then, we use our ensemble to take those words from page to stage, ultimately performing students' words back to them in a full school assembly. It's like SNL, but written by third graders. If you're a teacher watching this and want to bring this opportunity to your campus, or if you're a parent and you really want the story wranglers at your child's school, or even if you're a third grader who's writing these stories and thinks it's really fun, you can learn more information at our website, austintheater.org slash storywranglers, including contact information to help bring the program to a campus. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for every like, every subscription, every story submitted to our online journal portal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We literally could not do this program without you. So thank you for being a part. And while the summer writing roundup may be over, we still have tons going on on our social media, facebook.com slash paramountedu-atx or paramountedu-atx on Instagram, as well as our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the Paramount Story Wranglers. We would love to keep in touch throughout the year and show you all the amazing work we're doing with youth and families in Central Texas. In the meantime, have fun, keep writing, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.